To start this project, you're going to need to put your tree up and you can add lights if you want to. Now the tree is set up and I'm going to be using a fleece blanket for the next step. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I folded the blanket in half. I'm going to place the top up here in the top and then I'm gonna take the rest of the blanket and wrap it around like so. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I can't see any of the tree. For this next step, I'm using two red hot pad or oven mitts. I'm gonna place one oven mitt on one side and I'm gonna take the second oven mitt and put it on this side. Next, we're gonna use a big large ornament from the dollar store. So I'm gonna take the ornament and you can use a hook if you want, but we're gonna place the ornament right up here and you can use, move your branches around to get it to stay or use a hook to have it hold in place. And we'll be using a mop for this next step. So this part of the mop goes usually inside the mop, the mop head goes in and it clamps on to hold it in place. There are seams on either side. So I'm using a fabric scissors to cut this. Fabric scissors are nice and sharp and I don't use them, them for anything else other than fabric. This is an important way to cut this because regular scissors are gonna struggle to cut through something like this. So now I have two pieces of mop. Next, I'm going to take a piece of each one and then I'm gonna tie it together like so. And then I'm gonna take another piece in the back and tie it together as well. This will hold them together. I'm just gonna go, go ahead and make a double knot. Then in addition to that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make on each side, I'm gonna pull out two strands and I'm gonna go ahead and loop like so on one side, making a knot. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. This will help me hang this onto the tree. Now it's time to hang it on the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of the straps and tuck it in on this side. And then I'm gonna take one of the other straps and tuck it in on this side. And I'll go ahead and straighten this up till I get the desired look that I want for my gnome. We're gonna be using some black boots to put at the bottom of the tree. So I'm gonna place the boots right here at the bottom of the tree. And if you're having trouble with your boots, like this one's not wanting to stay up, go ahead and put some pool noodles or stuff them with some garbage bags and you can get them to stay up really nice. Here he is all finished. And you could do something like this inside like this or outside on your pine trees in your yard. I hope this inspires you to make a gnome tree of your own. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk and I'll see you next time.